Welcome to Haraka Offshore. We are now in our fumigation area in the North Port Terminal of Bremerhaven, Germany. We will have a small tour and a step-by-step -step explanation how we carry out fumigation with sulfuric fluoride. This is our office container where we have all of our computers and printers. Please come inside and I will show you more. This is our software in the computer. Um, the first thing that we do is we make a screenshot and we print it out so that we can cross check with uh, all the containers outside that uh, they correspond with the ones in the software. Here's the printer where we print out our warning signs that we stick onto the container, yeah, with all the details. Measuring devices and whatever we need to, to carry out our operation. View of uh, our fumigation uh, uh, area. We have 20 containers that we can fumigate simultaneously. And in the middle is our FOC container, fumigation operation container, right in the middle, so we are on both sides uh, equally. So the first thing that we do is we take a look at the container number, look it into our daily planning a screenshot, we write down the number, the, the position of the container, and also we write down the old seal number. All this is recorded here. Container number, old seal number, and position in our area. So the next step is we put tape on the ventilation points of each container. Yeah, this is very important so that we make the container as gas tight as possible. This is a uh, our fumigation operation container it has all the sulfuric fluoride bottles they are sitting in a pallet with a special scale you can come closer this scale is very important because in this way we calculate exactly the dosage that we use on on each container so for example if we need to put two kilos in the container as soon as we lift uh, the scale um, and we start when we open the valve, immediately it will start showing here the consumption. It is very accurate, very precise, and very important. So this is our fumigation hose with a gun at the end, and this is the purging line that measures uh, how many grams per cubic meter inside the container. So what we do is we place the hose inside, we place the measuring here, close the container, make sure it's properly sealed, yeah, and then we can start the process. So today we have uh, wooden logs, they come from uh, German forests and they will be headed for China. Uh, the problem with these wooden logs is that they are infested with a bark beetle and uh, several other insects that must be terminated before they are exported to China. So this is where we come in. We, uh, we have, um, it's a 40 foot container and we uh, calculate the volume that we estimate about seven kilos of uh, sulfuric fluoride in order to reach 104 grams per cubic meter. The fumigation is scheduled for 24 hours. That means the container must be sealed and as gas tight as possible for 24 hours in order to have the effect that we need for the, for the beetles to be terminated. For Australian export containers, uh, the fumigation is half, which means 12 hours. That is the requirement. And uh, 12 hours are sufficient in order to have a successful fumigation. Now the temperatures are also very important. For the wooden logs, we require any temperature above five degrees. So we have a beautiful weather today, so heating is not required. We have above five degrees, which is sufficient. And for Australian export containers, we need a minimum of 10 degrees.